Hello there, this is Mary Lisa, Stitching Blues coming to you from FAD Needlework in Olive Branch, Mississippi. I have a short update for you. I apologize for being so long and getting back to you guys, but it's just really been busy with everything going on in my personal life as well as here. The getting through the, the snow, we've been, I mean, snow in Mississippi will shut you down. Um, find you the house but um we have a lot to go on i've made a decision to reduce my carrying back and forth to three projects before i can before i'll show you i had 12 to 15 projects in this bag and it's full <laughs> i was carrying back and forth it got heavy. <coughs> so I went to a smaller bag and I can only carry three. I think I have four, a couple of small ones over there. But I'll show you what I, I am focused on working on the next month. And I hope to have either finishes or some heavy, heavy made in there. But first, let's start with some great news. I have a finish. <laughs> I'm so excited uh, and it's really nice. This is from Lindy Stitch. It's her bird crush and it's the first bird in the series and it's a Stellar J and you can see he came out so beautiful uh, and I'm doing there's a bird a month so this is my only finish I have for to show off but I'm really excited and he's so so pretty. Now, I did individualize him a lot. He's a little bit taller and a little bit longer than ours. And I don't know where they came out, but I made them work. So it's one of those things, as you know, as a stitcher, you do what you have to do sometimes. I wasn't going to rip it out. <laughs> By the time I realized I was off a whole line, one way i didn't even know about the other till i started doing this branch here and this branch is, is exactly where it's supposed to be but the bird's tail is not where it's supposed to be so somewhere along the line i messed that up that's okay he will work just fine with what i'm doing i don't know what i'm gonna do with him yet but i'd like to show this is my next one uh, I haven't started him. He'll be my start for this week. Um, the black belly whistle whistler duck, and so I'm real excited about him. And I pulled him from stash, all but one thread. I can't believe I had that. And I'm gonna do him. Um, this is a, a picture. Of this plus uh, sand, and I have enough to do. I think at least two or three. Uh, on it. So this is what I'm going to do. I hope it will make all the birds. If not, some of the birds will be on something else. <laughs> so I'm real excited about that. Got that all ironed up. Let me put him up. Now I am, I started Super Bowl weekend. I started a new start. I am really happy about this, even though it was crazy to do. This is Reflex de Soul, Louise Lather, 1901. I haven't really done a lot of, in samplers, a lot of different colors. Most of them are, you know, chunks of color, but I haven't done it in a while. But look how this turned out. That's the corner of the whole place. It is beautiful. So um, I can't wait. Uh, and I got real lucky. I got the treasured clay by Kim's. <laughs> but look how beautiful that flower is coming out. So far, not so far on some wood. I'm not messed up. Now in my bag, this is in my bag. Um, I am carrying around some things that I'm trying to finish. I'm working on whips, not many whips, just small whips. 
This is by the Blue Flower, um, Language of Flower Dreams. And I love these flowers. And uh, this is where I've got on it. It is just really, really gorgeous. And it really did stitch up well. And I don't know why I put it down, but I think I can finish this up by the end of the month. Hold me to that. <laughs> so I'm real happy because I love the colors. I think it's just, it is just stunning. I mean, um, I don't even know what, fly, what, I'm trying to find what kind of fi, uh, little fabric I'm using. I can't think of where it's not marked, but somewhere it is but look at those colors so be prepared to see that and this is another one um, yes this is it on my whips that I am as I finish one I get to go to this bag here I showed you because there's another bag in the back that's got three times as many. But this is my priority bag. These are my immediate bag of whips. I am working on this one um, as a shop model for my shop. And it's from Heartstring Samplery, Let Your Light Shine. I should be able to finish this really quick, I really hope. This is what I've done so far. I'm, Let's see. I think it goes. Let me see. Ah, thumb on fingers. I think it goes that way. That is one of the problems of stopping and starting. So I have to figure where I'm at on this. So <laughs> pray for me. <laughs> this is done on 36 Linen Huntress by Picture This Plus. So I'm kind of happy about that. But that's all I've been working on and I want to finish. My goal on my Louise, the long, the bigger one, is to get at least the first page of the border done. Maybe by the middle of March. <laughs> Because we do have market in a couple of weeks, so I'm not sure. In the shop model, excuse me, in the shop, we have um, a couple of things that are just new to, uh, new in the shop. Uh, we have a designer who works here called Art Song Samplery and Dye Works. She has created these bowls and they are just phenomenal. This is the Promise of Spring and this is what the cross stitch piece looks like. Really nice. We are, you can buy the chart or you can buy a full kit with the bowl and everything in it uh, to make it, including the pieces, you know, these pieces here. So um, it's a complete kit and I believe it is on our website or you can call us and we can uh, get it to you. But um, this is the pattern. And the bowls are uh, from uh, Target, but if you're lucky to find them, uh, good luck. But if you get the kit, which runs 20 bucks, that gives you the bowl, the thread, the ground fabric, the finishing pieces, and the round thing, and there's instructions on how to, a link to how to, fin how to finish the bowl. Uh, another from Heart Song is this one called Spring. And she's just started, but look at that. Look how cute he is. And just in time for Easter, but I think I'd keep him up a long time because he is just adorable. Um, these, these partic this particular one, uh, it's, there's not a, 
Uh, most of them are DMC, and there's only a couple of uh, overdyes that are in here. But we do not have this kitted up yet. We're looking to do that. We just the bowls are um, harder to find, so we did those first. So with that, the we're getting ready to go to market. If there's anything you want from market, just you can go to our website, fadneedlework.com. Uh, we do have some of the things already listed, and you can look under the category Market 2022, and I think that's what it's all under. Um, or you can email us with any particulars that you would like to order because we uh, we can put it down on, we have a, we have a spreadsheet of particulars uh, and we make sure that they're covered in our ordering. So we're real excited and we're going to have, I don't know exactly what we're going to do for an introduction to all the stuff we're coming from that we're getting at market because this will be the first time in two years that, no, yeah, no, one year. Seems like COVID's been forever. We did make the uh, 2020 co uh, market. 2021 was not did not happen in, uh, except for a Zoom. Um, so we will be glad to help uh, help you with anything you want for market. We're taking pre-orders. In fact, I've got several. I've got uh, quite a bit already on my pre-order list from customers who have contacted us. And um, the other thing, uh, and at the end of this, I will put uh, a, 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 an updated picture of my little grandbabies. They came and I spent the they spent the night with me one night and kept me up all night. But that was that's what grannies do. But they are getting big and they are healthy. On a on a special note, I'd like for you to extend uh, prayers out to a friend of mine who's whose one-year-old son, Petey, is in the hospital and having, um, he's had some surgeries and he uh, may have to have a liver transplant, but if you keep him in your prayers, uh, I appreciate it because um, they're dear friends and I couldn't imagine uh, my baby going through what he's had to go through and only being one month old. So. Um, Thank you for keeping them in his prayers, and I will um, come to you after market and uh, be lis be listening for uh, a market this Saturday. I think it's March third. I will be doing a special live um, event uh, showing what we've got from Blackbird and, and see what we've got for new all the other places because uh, I know a lot of the sneak peeks have been out. So check Instagram and Facebook for those. So. For now, um, I bid you 